If you want a funny video, go back to the funny videos because this is a serious video. So you can go back to your cat videos after this because this is important. So stay tuned. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my dear brothers and sisters, and welcome back to Tenteras Films, where we create content to make you more content. And today we want to talk about something very serious, hence the introduction to the video in the beginning. We want to talk about depression and how to overcome depression. And I want to mention a hadith Qudsi that I came across like three years ago that literally blew my mind and that I want to share with you guys. And if you really understand it, and listen closely to what I'm saying, you will cure your depression or at least your depression will be way less than it is right now. So, Allah talks in that hadith about five things. He talks about wealth, He talks about poverty, He talks about health, and He talks about sickness. And He talks about certain kinds of worship. So Allah is in control of everything and He tests us and He sometimes afflicts us with things and He talks about wealth. He says that if He was to take wealth from some of His slaves, it would lead to their destruction, it would lead to their corruption. So that's why He gives them wealth. And some of His slaves, He leaves them in a poor state. So they have little to very few means to live their lives and many people out there maybe they ask themselves all their lives oh Allah why am I so poor and maybe they make dua and their dua is not fulfilled that they become wealthy and the reason for that is if Allah was to give them wealth it would lead to their destruction it would lead to their corruption but they fail to understand it but since it's Allah the all-knowing the all-wise he's in control of everything and that's why he leaves them in the state that they are at. But they don't know better, and that's why they are maybe depressed. But if they knew the truth, they would certainly not want to become wealthy. Because let's face it, this life is so short, and the hereafter is everlasting. So who wants a wealthy short life and destruction in the afterlife? But many people fail to understand it. And at the same time, the same thing goes for being either healthy or being sick. Some people, um, Allah makes them sick, Allah gives them a sickness and it, it's maybe very painful, it's maybe very bad, but it's the reason why they are getting closer to Allah. You know how many people they found Allah, they found Islam because they were afflicted with a sickness? There are many people. And in the end, that sickness maybe the best thing that ever happened to them because without it they wouldn't have found the way to Allah. But at the same time there are people that are perfectly healthy and if they were to become sick maybe they would lose their iman for example and that's why they are healthy. And then there are certain people, that was very interesting when I read that as well, there are certain people that maybe want to do some acts of worship, some, some certain acts of worship and they are deprived of that for the reason that if they would do these kinds of worship that, that they want to do, it would lead to self-amazement, it would lead to feeling so good about themselves that they maybe think they are better than the others and that would lead to pride and pride leads to ultimate destruction like for example with shaitan. So that's why Allah deprives them of certain acts of worship. And one more thing that leads to less depression is right here, man. If you click this thing and subscribe, you're going to feel better. So what are you waiting for, bro?